The government says you will stop too fast, too soon. All right, so you can slide it around a little bit. Let's see if we can do this in fourth gear. I think we can. What's up, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this POV review by Autotop NL. My name is Max, and today we've got another viewer's car. It is a BMW 114i. Now, I've seen a couple of comments from you guys saying that the cars we drive are too expensive, they're not realistic for our viewers to maybe buy someday, and we should do more consumer advice. Well, here we are. This is a tuned 114i, which the owner, Michiel, bought as sort of a midway uh, between his last car and hopefully uh, one day an M135 or M140i. So, uh, then he discovered a lot of tuning parts for this car and here we are. He fell down the rabbit hole and has really modified his car quite a bit. Stock, this car has a 1.6 liter four cylinder turbocharged engine with 102 horsepower. This one has 220. And you can see all the cool stuff on it. So I'm going to show you around it, show you all the stuff he's done to it. And then we'll take it for a drive towards the Ultiman for an Ultiman blast. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to receive updates when we upload a new video. And check us out on Instagram if you like, at autotopnl. Alrighty, so we've got a base 114i, which uh, stock looks quite, well, dreary, uh, not that spectacular, but luckily Michiel has found a website where he could upgrade his one series and he has basically just checked every box and ordered everything because we've got an M performance style front splitter with this bumper extension which I think looks really nice, very nice and aggressive. We've got a black and performance kidney grill, of course. Uh, the, he also upgraded his light units to have the angel eyes, which I think looks so much better. Just a BMW should have those. The wheels, we've got Japan Racing wheels, the SL01, and they are pretty cool actually. I think they fit nicely on this car. Uh, this is the lightweight series and this is an 18 inch wheel. Behind that we've got upgraded brakes, ECB brakes with yellow stuff pads. So they are ceramic pads. Now uh, Michiel told me, I didn't know this, but in Belgium it is actually uh, forbidden to upgrade your brake disc size or your brakes because, uh, and this is true, the government says you will stop too fast, too soon, and other people on the road might not expect that. So you can't have bigger brakes on your car. I mean, please uh, explain me the logic of that. That is just absolutely ridiculous. Uh, but anyway, so that's why you've got these tiny discs, but at least he upgraded them to match the power. We've got carbon fiber mirror caps as well. Uh, a nice Maxton design side skirt some carbon fiber for the door sills this is the owner you can follow him on the Insta you can follow him on instagram bimmer belgium and at the rear we've got a nice spoiler roof spoiler this is actually the same one we had on our m135i i really think that this spoiler it it really changes the look of the one series because it's a bit bare bottomed uh, without one. I think this makes it look right. Other than that, we've got a custom exhaust system with M performance tips. So the nice ones with the carbon fiber and a different M bumper as well. So it's basically all M performance and M upgrade. Uh, we've got dark rear lights. This extension right there, I think that's Maxton design as well. And let's take a look underneath where we find the 1.6 liter twin power turbo engine. Now this uh, 1.6 liter, you find this in the 114i, the 169i, the 118i, and also in the facelift 120i. Um, in the 118i it has 170 horsepower. I'm not sure what it has in the 120i facelift. But this one, as I said, stock 102 horsepower. Now this has 220 horsepower and around 320 newton meters of torque because we have an in-gen 
uh, cold air intake, we've got a remap, we've got an M-Works intercooler and a GFB diverter valve. That is how they got to 220 horsepower. We've also got this nice red strut brace. Ooh, that's actually nice and warm. Hmm, that's good for winter. Okay, so enough changes on this car. I mean, yeah, it, it is truly modified to fit his uh, requirements. Inside, we've got a lot of and performance as well. So we've got the dashboard inlay in Alcantara. We've got some carbon fiber on the center console, which I'm not sure is real, but that might just be some foil. But we do have this really nice and performance gear lever uh, with Alcantara as well. We've got the M steering wheel. So yeah, a lot of changes and these seats are really good as well. We had these in the M135i. They are so good, nice and snug. Um, let's start it up. So the sound, that sounds a lot better than a stock 140i as well. So let's take it for a drive to see what it's like. All right, here we go. Let's put it in Sport Plus and we'll turn off traction control. There we go. So we'll see what this car feels like. We also have a Bilstein suspension kit, so that's also upgraded. All right, so you can slide it around a little bit. You've got enough power for that. Oh, you gotta love a BMW. If it's wet, it doesn't really matter what you're driving. It is going to be fun. And the way you can just catch that slide with one hand, it's just so progressive. I mean, yeah, that's really awesome. Um, we also have a SUX clutch, I think. So that's an upgrade as well. I think it's a little bit heavier than stock. Yes, definitely. That feels really nice as well. So the thing is with this car, as I said, the purpose of it was as like a midway solution on his way to an M135i. But I think the concept of tuning this 114i to this amount of power is really good because it's the same engine whether you have a 114i or a 120i anyway. And if you do a couple of these upgrades like the suspension, the steering wheel, uh, the nice shifter, it really doesn't matter anymore which car you have, which engine you start with. Driving it, well, you do really feel the Bilstein suspension. It is quite firm actually. Uh, but that does fit this 1 Series really well and I really like a firm 1 Series because it means that you have this like little hunkered down car that, that turns around you. You really sit very low in this car in the 1 Series and it's very short. So you've, it, it's just a really, really great feeling if you start driving this car hard. Now, unfortunately it is quite wet. Uh, so yeah, we, we're not really going to be able to test like corner speeds and turn in and stuff like that, but we can enjoy some other stuff like this little turn here, full throttle. Yeah, it is nice. You've got that extra sound at the rear. I'm not sure about the 220 horsepower though. It, it might just be me. Um, it has been a while since I drove a car with 220 horsepower, so I'm... I'm a bit hesitant to, to trust my own judgment. So uh, when we get to the Autobahn, we'll definitely get the draggy going and we will be able to see how it performs. It is a lot faster than a 149 though, I can say that with certainty. Okay, so we'll stop here. First gear. <laughs> yeah, that's really, it, it is a really, really nice car. <laughs> oh, it's a good steering wheel too. We wanted this one in our M135i, but we never did it. But it looks really, really good. 
because this is a pre-facelift one, so he, he got the, the facelift and steering wheel, which is really nice. So we've got the draggy installed. And we're in Sport Plus. We've got the speedo cam going. I'm not going to use a screen recording for the draggy, it's just uh, for my own reference and I'll tell you guys which numbers we get. From 100 to 200, I would expect something around 25 seconds. Full throttle third gear. This is a little bit uphill, so maybe we should stop and start our measurement here. Okay, here we go. So it does need some space, of course. Let's see if we can do this in fourth gear. I think we can. There we go, that's 28 seconds. I think that I think that checks out. I think that that should yeah, I think that's that's okay. We'll try another one. Third gear. I don't think we'll have the space to do another one, but anyway, we'll do another pull. So on the Autobahn, the Bilstein is quite nice. You can feel that it is a little bit more bumpy, a little bit stiffer, uh, but it's not like the car is out of balance or anything like that. Here we go, 200. There we are, 27, eight. So I think, yeah, that checks out because we have done a Ford Focus uh, with a manual with a 1.5 liter turbocharged engine with 180 horsepower, which did 32 seconds. Um, we've done an Abarth with just over 200 horsepower, which did 24, 25 seconds. Here we are, have a little bump. Yeah, that's good. It's a good suspension setup too. Um, yeah, I have to say honestly that I had to uh, like reset my mind a little bit when Martijn told me we we're going to do a 140i. But I get it. I get why Michiel chose to do this because there is a lot of potential in here, uh, in this engine. And it is a very low cost option to get a really nice driving one series with 220 horsepower, which which, yeah, it performs nicely. Uh, you have rear wheel drive. He, of course, changed a lot on the outside as well to make it look the part as well, which I really like because I really like the look of a one series M, which this basically is. Ooh, starting to rain a little bit. That's not great. Yeah, so um, that's it for this review. I think uh, it's starting to rain, so we're pretty much done now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you would like to see more cars like this in the future, like tuned cars that are lower spec as a base, but that the owner has taken to a higher level. Uh, let me know if you like that for the future. For now, you can subscribe by clicking the big button right there. You can also check out this video or go check out this playlist. See you at the next one. Bye.